Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. For those of you who know me well, uh, I'm a big believer in recycling anything and everything. Um, so recently I uh, took a pair of old jeans and I converted them into aprons. Um, one for a tool belt for my daughter for work and the other were just for some artist aprons and I wanted to do a quick video. I know this is a, a jump from my journals but I wanted to do a quick video. I had a friend, Jaya, hi Jaya, who asked if I would do give her the instructions on how to how to make the aprons and they're really really not that hard. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to take this is a man's pair of jeans and I just buy them at our local thrift shop for three or four dollars. Um, and you will get an apron out of one leg and a tool belt out of one leg. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I do that. So we're going to take a pair of jeans from this to this. We are taking the leg of the pair of jeans and we are going to add a pocket. Now I have a very large stack of pockets from all the different jeans that I used to cut up. I used to make denim blankets and denim tote bags and that type of thing. So I have tons and tons of pockets left over. So I just went through my stack of pockets and I looked for anything that I uh, had taken off of overalls or jeans that had very, very large pockets. And I simply took some fabric that I had bought at a thrift store, a couple of yards of fabric um, for a couple of bucks, and I just um, tore across the width of the fabric and made straps and trim that goes around the outside of it. So this is what we're going to be making today. And the other item I did make was a tool belt for my daughter. This is the second one that I've made. And this tool belt has um, the waistband of the jeans and this is a 44 inch waistband. So this is the waistband of the jeans and I've attached it to the top here and this is just a piece of the fabric and a second piece of fabric here and again I've used those pockets that I have stacks and stacks of and this one has two pockets in the back here another one here this one holds pens on in these two and then perhaps maybe scissors in this one and then it does have two pockets from the pouch that I've made and then what I did on the back here is I covered it with the fabric um, using some fusible interfacing I just attached it basically to the back of the denim before I sewed it all together and then I've attached the waistband and again I'll show you quickly how to do that as well. Um, I'm not going to go exactly step by step. I will do the stages and, and explain how I did that and then just show you how to put them together. I've used um, pieces. These are from overalls. I've just slid it onto the waistband strap and then added a keychain ring. Uh, my daughter says she carries around uh, a set of keys for her work so they will go on the keychain and then she has a knife that she carries around as well and it's on a little hook so she can carry her keys and her knife on these little hooks and then these can be for all the little bits and pieces. So I'm basically I'm not going to show you how to make this particular one today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to cut up a pair of jeans and make this particular apron. So let's get started. To start with with the jeans um, you're just going to need a pair of scissors and we're going to cut the jeans across the front pretty much at the crotch level. We're going to go with that inseam height and we're going to cut it across. Now I'm going to save this portion of the jeans. Um, there is another uh, thing that you can make where you can leave the back pockets on and leave the waistband on and make some type of little pocket waistband thing. Uh, but we're just going to work on the leg portion today. So we are literally going to take and I reach in and grab the pocket that hangs down and pull it up just so it's out of the way when I'm cutting and I don't end up cutting that pocket in case I use it. So I'm literally just going to cut straight across the top of these jeans with my scissors. And I probably need to sharpen my scissors. <laughs> across there and you can use a rotary cutter whatever you like so you end up with a very short short pair of shorts and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side 
so that I have two legs to start with. Okay, so I'm just going to set aside. This is the top portion, and again, it's a very, very, you cut as close to that seam as you can. And again, I tuck the pockets up into the top so that I don't cut the pockets off. But we're going to set these aside because we can reuse this. We can either make ourselves a, a little belt and leave the waistband on and just use this. Um, but you want to save the waistband because you can use that for that tool belt that I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to set this guy aside. And then what we have, now these are a shorter pair of jeans, but you basically are going to get, a, you need at least 24 inches, I think, for an apron. So these are 28 inch seams. But some jeans come 30 inch in seams, 32 inch, so the longer the jean, the longer the apron's going to be. Uh, but this is about 28, so I figure between 24, 25 is a good height, chest height to where you want the length of the apron. And I believe the one I showed you earlier is 24 inches. So we've got a nice long piece of jeans here. Now what I normally do is I take these jeans and there's a side seam that does not have the sewing and then there's another one that does. What I try and do from this end is match up those two seams and then from this end I'm going to match up those two seams just just roughly you don't have to have it perfect and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut let me see you can see that it's thinner on this side than it is on this side from the jeans I want to make sure that my I can feel my seam is over a bit more there. You can almost feel them there. So see how I have a wider portion here than I do there? I am actually going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut just right down this back portion here of the jeans. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm in camera here. So I'm literally just mashed up the seams. It doesn't have to be perfect, but mostly from this end, I'm not worried about the other end. And I'm just cutting up the back. So there's nothing here. I'm just cutting up the back of the leg of the jeans. So when you open this up, you're going to have a piece. And it's going to flare out a little bit at the bottom here. Because of the seam and where the crotch was. But that's basically what you're going to have for your top. And then what the apron is is the length of this and you take this so this will sit about um, just above your chest, mid chest and you're going to be cutting armholes and I go about nine and a half inches down and I cut an armhole and then what I do is I match the two sides together let me just match these up I'm going to do it upside down so you can see it I'm going to match up those seams a little bit Okay, and it doesn't have, this doesn't have to be perfect. It just gives you the idea of the shape that you want. Okay, so those seams are pretty well matched up. And then what you want to do is I just take a tape measure real quick. And I'm going to go, I'm going to cut this hem piece off because when you're sewing some trim across the top of the apron, you don't want that thickness there. So I'm going to cut that hem off. So I'm going to go from the hem height where that stitching is. I'm going to cut this off. So I need about nine and a half inches. So it's going to go down to about there. So I'm just going to make a little cut. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to cut down here and around. And just make a little armhole. And I'm just going to cut this. I think I'm going to cut this top piece off first just so we can get through this easier. And same with this one. And this one, let me just cut a little bit more off. Okay, so that's out of the way a little bit. Okay, so let's match those seams again. And then we're going to go that down to this mark here. And I'm just going to cut, let's see, about 
yeah, about three inches in from the edge. So we're just going to cut down. I really need to sharpen my scissors here, boy. And then just go around and cut that off. And I'll save these little bits for making some little journal, mini journal charms or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this top piece off. Right at the edge. Make sure I'm still on camera here. Okay, we gotta toss that out of the way. So this is what you're going to be left with. So this is the top of your apron, and these are your armholes. And then this is down the side. Now, when you look at this apron, and I'm just going to push it up a little bit so you can see the bottom of it. See how this has a little bit of a, a wow here. So this is where the crotch was. I will take my stitch ripper, and if I can find it in here, and it's probably not in here. And I'm going to open up the seam here in the jeans. And I'm going to move it so that I'm going to try and tuck it in a little bit. And then I will re sew down to give that same straight look to here. So I'm just going to open it up to probably about here. Take both of these stitches out in this seam, and I'm going to move the fabric around, and then I will get a flatter looking. There, and that's the only adjustment I do is on this one part because there's always a little bit of a wow here where the crotch was. So once that's done, you literally have, and then I just trim across the bottom to make sure it's somewhat even, and then we start tearing the fabric. And literally what you're going to do is I rip it four inches wide. So I just tear my fabric right across the width of the fabric. Um, I did find this fabric at a thrift store and it was 104 inches wide and it was pink and it did one the strap up and around, it was 106 inches, uh, 104 inches, and it was perfect for doing that one piece. Um, the other fabric that I used, the, the fabric that in the apron I showed you, was 44 inches wide, so I sewed two pieces together, actually three pieces together, um, for making that one piece that I will show you later. But literally all I, all I did was rip it in the width of the fabric, four inches wide, I took out my iron, and I folded it in half, and I ironed it in half, and then I tucked up some hems. So I have about I'm going to say an inch and a half um, um, fabric with it tucked under. So I'm making like a binding. And then what you do is you're going to pin the binding starting here at a raw edge and you're going to go down. You're going to turn your corner. You're going to go across the bottom and then up the side. And that's going to be one piece. Then you're also going to take a piece of trim and you're going to sew it across the top here with two raw edges. You don't have to worry about hemming the edges. The same with this one. You do not have to worry about hemming the edges. They can be raw. Those are the pieces you start with. You take a pocket. You can take a pocket off the jeans you, you just cut or you can get a larger pocket from another pair of jeans. And I remove the pocket from the material. So I will take my stitch ripper. And I can't find it. It was here a minute ago. And I will literally get my stitch ripper in there and I will take out that seam and I will remove the pocket from the jeans. So you, you will literally have just the pocket in your hands, nothing else. You don't want the fabric behind, you just want the pocket. Um, I do that, I stitch rip it off and then I place it on here where I want it. I get the, it's usually up in the top or you can do one at the top and one here. Uh, and I'm gonna take a piece of that trim and I'm gonna put it across the pocket. So let me just show you the other apron again. So this is our apron. So this was a, the, one of the first pieces I did. It was raw to the edges. And then I took it from the sides, another piece from the sides, and I went down my apron across the bottom and up the top. And then I sewed a piece of trim across this pocket here. Then I laid the pocket on, pinned it on here, and I actually sewed where the lines were on that pocket again. And then I started again on the inside, 
So I have my double lines back on my pocket and it is a pocket on the front. Then you take that one piece, you need about 104 inches, so you want to take, if it's 44 inch wide fabric, I take three of them and sew them together. And then I find the center of that, and that is going to be right here. That's going to be the center of that 106, four inch long piece, 112 inch long piece, whatever it is. You're going to find the center and start there. You're going to measure 10 inches down, and you're going to put a pin there, and you're going to measure measure 10 inches down and you're going to put a pin there and that's where you're going to start to add your straps to the side of this apron. So once the pin is there and you mark 10 inches down from the center, I pin all this on to this portion and I just straighten out the fabric like that while I'm pinning. And there's the seam there of the fabric that I joined and then the rest of the fabric becomes the strap. And you decide how long you want these. I just left, this is the, um, yeah, this is the 44 inch. So I ended up cutting this off because I didn't want too long of a strap. But that's basically all you're doing is you're starting at the center of your 100 and whatever inch piece when you sew them all together. And I've gone with my iron and folded it in half and then tucked it under. So that's, that's the width of my trim. I mark the center of that really long piece that, and I mark, put a pin there, a nice bright pin, and then I mark 10 inches down, 10 inches down, and that's where I start with my straps coming up the sides. And once they're there, you just continue the sewing and you sew that strap up and up the edge. And that is basically how you make this apron. So I'm gonna show you um, next, I will choose a pocket to put on this apron. I have one that I've already cut up. I don't know if I fixed the seam or not. Maybe I'll show you how I fix the seam. Then I'll choose the pocket and then I'll show you how I tear the fabric and I'll quickly iron one and show you how I flipped it under. And then it's basically, I'll show you the pinning. So I found my stitch ripper and I'm just going to rip the stitches up to about there on this side, which I've done. And then I'm just going to flip it over to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to insert my stitch ripper and rip those stitches up. Just be careful you don't want to tear the, the jean fabric. And you only want to go up as far as the other side. So let's go there. And then you just pull it apart. And then this is where we will try and readjust it to make it fit a little better. So this I just flatten out. And then I just turn this little piece under like that. And then you're just going to pin it and then you're just gonna sew down and make two rows again and I just find um, a goldy colored thread. You just want to make it a little more even. Does that make sense? So I'm going to pin that and then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew down there. Now some of them you can leave this piece in if you leave it short enough and you can just straighten this piece out like that. But then you're going to have this funny little pucker here you can do a little dart there but I just or if you just want to leave it with that angle in it just lay it flat how you want it like that pin it like that and then just follow your two stitches there and then you'll have that little fray there again whatever way you want to do it I just try and get that little bulky piece out so that it lays flat down like that so um, I will sew it and then I will show you how which way I've decided to do it so we're back. Uh, what I've done is taken this seam out and you can't see it very well, but I've actually sewn two lines of sewing down there to make that a little more even. So we don't have that funny little wow that was there. I've just gone ahead and sewn that. So we've done that part. And again, you don't have to do that. You can just leave that and trim it to fit, leave that curve in there. Um, then you want to take these are some of the pockets that I have and you want to take your stitch ripper and all you're going to do is go in behind the seam. Let me see if I can find a good spot. 
and you're going to grab one of the stitches and you're going to just pull some of those stitches out, start somewhere, and you're going to go around with your stitch ripper and you're going to pull out all of the seams on the outside and then you have to do the inside one as well. So you'll end up with just the pocket and it actually pulls all the threads out so you don't have any threads left in around your pocket. So then what I'm going to do is place my pocket approximately where I want it. I just want it up a little bit sitting on my chest so I can put things in there. You can also add another pocket down here if you like so that you can put your scissors or whatever in there as well. I'm just going to show you with this one how to put one up at the top here. Then you're going to take your fabric and this is the fabric that I was using. Again, um, it is 44 inches wide, I believe. So all I've done with the very first tear, when you first get fabric and you want to do this trim stuff, I'll start at the other end to show you. So this was the cut edge that the sewing lady must have cut off. The lady's at the counter. So all I do is take one side of the fabric and I just do about an inch and I cut past that outer edge. Anybody who sews knows how to do this. And then you're just going to tear it. And the reason I do this, and I will show you, oops, and then we'll cut that piece off, is because you can, for the cut edge, look at what the difference is. So you always tear your end first before you start. And then from there, I just take my measuring tape and I measure four inches over. And that's all I'm using. It gives me about a, an inch and a quarter piece of trim, do my first little snip, and tear. Now for this apron, I will need, oops, two pieces sewn together, so two of these strips sewn together, and I will cut this piece off, this little white section here. I gotta get better scissors. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut that piece off. Then I'm gonna take two of these strips and I'm gonna sew them together on my machine. So I will have one long piece. That piece will do around the bottom edge and the top and it should do the pocket. Then I'm gonna take three more strips the same way. So two of them together so I have one long strip and I'm gonna take it to my iron and I'm gonna iron them in half. So I'm going to take it to my iron and I'm going to iron it in half like this with my steam iron all the way across and then I cheat a little bit. I just take my metal ruler and open this up and there will be a little seam there where I've ironed it the first time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. And then I just kind of turn up my edge like that run the, the iron over it and I do that one whole side so that it's turned up like this all the way across and then I fold it back and then I just tuck in and again you can figure out how to do it but you, that's what you want to end up with is your edges turned under and you want about an inch and a quarter thick trim with your edges turned under so that's actually what's going to go around the outsides on the top of your pocket on the top of your apron and is going to be that one continuous strap so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip all these pieces and I'm going to sew them together, the pieces that I need, and then I will show you how I start to pin on the trim. For the trim, I have just cut my strips, ripped my strips into four inch pieces. I've sewn the pieces together, so I've put two together and three together. And when I iron these, I'm going to iron that seam out flat. And then I just take my trim and I'm just folding it in half and I am just going to do that really quickly. And then this is where I, this is my little cheat. This ruler I know is an inch and a quarter wide. So I just take this and I open it up and I set my ruler inside right against that mark that I've made where I've ironed it and I just turn up the edge of the material and this gives me a little starter as to the width that I want it to be 
and then I just slide it along. Careful, the iron, the iron, the ruler gets hot because it's metal. And this just kind of starts me out for the width that I want my trim to be. And then you can either just eyeball it and keep going along your trim. But I just move my ruler along. And I'm sure there's tools that people have that can do this easier, but I don't have them because I'm not a seamstress. I'm just a part-time sewer. So I'm just gonna slide it along. Ouch, that's hot. There's a little piece of glue or something on there and it keeps sticking to my fabric. And then I'm just gonna iron this along like this. And you can just literally keep going once you get that. You don't even need to use the ruler. After that, you can just literally turn it up and eyeball it. <clears throat> like that. And you're going to go right across. This whole piece here. And those of that you are that are sores can just fast forward through this part <laughs> because you know what you're doing. Okay, so then I'm going to close up my seam like this. And you can either turn it over this way and tuck it under, or I just normally do it this way and then I just fold it under like that. Just get a little piece going here. And that will be my, my trim. And I'm just gonna keep going and then I'm going to do the other piece which is the three pieces sewn together. I will do that piece as well. And then I will show you really quickly how I pin this on to the apron. So my trim is all done. And this is the longer piece that has three of the strips sewn together, and this one is the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here in my right-hand corner, and I'm going to take my... I'm just going to turn this little bit off here. Now we don't have to turn in the edges because this is going to be covered. So you're literally just going to open up your trim and apply it to the edge of the apron. Now you can do it um, right up to the inside seam or you can just do it to there, whichever way you want the trim to be. I normally just cover it up to the inside and let it overhang a little bit. And I'm just going to put a couple of pins here out to start it. Okay, so you're literally just going to come all the way down this side of the apron and pin it. And where are all my smaller pins? Here we go. Okay. And you just need to tack it and I would pull it a little bit so that it is nice and with the denim. So just give it a little pull and pin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around down the side here. And when I get to the corner, <clears throat> I'm going to turn the corner and then I'm just going to tuck in my, cor my trim and make a little corner. It's really hard, hard to talk because I keep putting the pins in my mouth, <laughs> which is my automatic thing that I do. <laughs> hmm. So I'm just going to turn the corner like that. And I'm just going to make a little peak like this. So I'm just going to pinch it and fold it down like that. So let me just lay out the bottom piece here. Lift up the denim, insert it inside, 
give it a little pull like that so I pretty much want to give myself a little square corner like that and I'm just gonna get the pin out of my mouth and pin it here and then you have this little bit here and I am just going to grab a pin and all I do is I tuck it up like that I push the underneath part in until I get a little angle piece facing straight like that so I'm literally just making a corner on that piece and then I'm going to flip it over I'm going to hold it flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing on this side I'm going to push that piece under as far as it will go until I get that little corner piece looking like it's on a diagonal like that and then I hold those two pieces together and I'm just going to pin those now when I sew this I'm going to sew down along the seam I'm going to come to here make sure I'm in here and then I'm going to actually sew down my diagonal to the corner and back reverse it back up and then start sewing across so I'm actually going to give this little corner where I folded it over I'm just going to sew across that corner seam so I come down go down my corner reverse and then I turn my needle and I'm going to go across the bottom and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other corner tuck it in sew down into the corner come back up and then I will go up the other side so this will all be one piece so I'm going to go ahead and get this pinned on This is harder to do when you're filming than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to pull my fabric along and pin it. And then we're going to get to that corner and we're going to do that little corner piece again. And I'm going to turn my fabric and I'm going to tuck it underneath my denim like that and then I want to just make sure I have that corner piece where I tuck it up under so you want to pull the corner and then tuck it under like that so you get a nice little corner piece and then I just hold that side and I flip it over and I do the exact same thing on the other side tuck it up and under like that and then I'm just going to stick a pin in there to hold it Try not to stick the pin in me and then we're just going to continue I'm just going to give the fabric a little pull there and again and then when you get to the end all we're going to do is cut that straight off like that okay so there is my bottom piece pinned on I'm just gonna flip this around then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little strip across the top here like that and that is why you cut off the uh, the hem off the bottom of the jeans because it would be really thick and bulky there and unless you have a really really thick sewing machine that will go through quite a few layers um, you're going to want to 
cut that hem off for the bottom. I'm just going to take that one out for a moment and pull that. And then we're going to cut that off right at that outer edge. Like that. So there's your top piece done. And then I'm just going to take this last little bit and I'm going to put a little bit of trim across the top of my pocket. And for this one I am going to turn the edges under. And then I'm going to put it on along the edge of my pocket here. Get under there. I'm going to flick that edge over the edge of my denim like that. It doesn't need to go down that far. There we go. And pin that piece right there. And then I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to leave myself about an inch at the end. And I'm going to pin it in the middle. Then I'm going to tuck my ends in like that until we get to the end of our pocket. Let me trim that a little bit more. Just turn that under until it reaches the end of your pocket like that and then then I just take this little flap and I put it over the edge of my jeans. So it's actually going like this and then you tuck that back one in. So you don't see the edge of the pocket and then you pin that one. Now I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I am not going to videotape um, sewing this but what I will do is I will sew this piece at the top across. I'll take the pocket off and I'll sew this piece across the top and then I will sew all around the bottom of the apron and then when I come back I'm going to pin the pocket back on and I'm going to sew along the lines that were already there for the stitching on the outside right from the top of the pocket. I'm going to sew along the outside edge all the way up and then for the inside seam I'm just going to start right where the fabric starts and go and sew along so that the pocket will have those two stitching lines there and the first one will hold the pocket on and always reverse over the edges of these pockets to hold that because that's going to where you're going to be sticking your hand in and out. Once this is all sewn on we're going to take that long three-piece strip and we're going to make the the rest of the trim. So everything is now sewn on my top piece, my pocket, and my ends and I've done my corners where I've sewn down and across. So now we take our strip of fabrics, the three that are sewn together, and you're going to find the center. So I just match up my two end pieces. Do this way. And we want to find the center of this long, long piece. So this is my center of my long piece right here and I'm going to take a nice bright pin and I'm going to put it right in the middle. So that's the center of my long strips. I'm going to open them up here. I can do that. Okay, so then I'm going to measure down. I'm just going to pull this down so you can see. I'm going to measure 10 inches from that center pin. Okay, so we're going to take a 10 inch and I'm going to take another pin and I'm going to put it there and I'm going to do the same from the other side. Right there and I'm going to mark another 10 inches. Okay, so that is going to be the loop that goes around your neck. That's 20 inches but I've marked the center of my strap and I've got my two pins where it goes down 10 inches and that is where we're going to start attaching our trim. 
So right where this first one is, it's going to line up with, sorry, I got a pin in my mouth again. It's going to line up with the top of that piece. So I'm just going to hold it there. And I'm going to open this up and we're going to set that inside. And I'll pin it and that'll be my first spot there. And then we're just going to go and pin this down the armhole. And what you want to do is when you get near the bend, you just want to pull your fabric straight. So let me just get down here. Pin that one. one and then I'm just going to pull this straight put a pin there Oops. try not to pin my finger there we go and then around the corner same thing you're just going to give it a little pull put it one more there and that is my first seam right there where i've joined the pieces together so you're not going to notice it so there that's where you go right to the edge and you pin it like that. So then you're going to have your strap hanging off and this is going to end up, so you've got it going across the top. There's your center of your strap. You're going to go down and you're just going to pin it to the arm of your apron. And then everything that's left over is now going to be your tie. And you can shorten it if you need to. You may have to shorten it because it's quite long. Um, but when we're sewing this around, I don't bother pinning this. I just kind of hold it and sew along the whole outer edge. So I'm just going to do the other side here. I'm going to go down to my 10 inch mark. Right there. And I'm going to pin that. Let me grab some more pins here and we'll pin this under there. Don't forget to give the fabric a nice pull because it will buckle up if you don't. Right there. And then I'm just going to pull this piece kind of straight. And pin another one there. And then go around that corner. And again, it's easier if you pull it down, the fabric down straight. Like that so you can pin it a little easier. And there is my last one. I'll give it a nice pull. There. So that's the only parts you really need to pin. I've got my center one and I've just pinned Move it down here. I've just pinned around my armholes and that's it. So now when I go to the ends of my, decide on the length of your strap. And again, it's totally up to you, but this one's really long. Um, so I'm probably going to cut off a bit. But when I get to the ends, you are going to turn your ends in like that. 
and you will put a pin there on each end so your pins are turned under and then when you're sewing this you actually want to start and it'll probably be on this side I want to put it through my machine so that the so I probably start here I'll go down my strap and then this way and I will go on that part that's open all the way along my strap until it gets to here and then I will sew along here up the headband head neckband and then down the other side and the same thing I'll turn my other end under so again you just want to measure how wide or how long your straps are turn the ends in and you're going to start on the strap where you can put the strap through with the I like to have the sewing machine thread going this way down and then up and around on the inside of my apron. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you the finished product. So there is the finished apron with the strap for around your neck and we've sewn down the sides and yes my pocket is a little wonky. I was trying to keep this straight and yet my pocket wasn't straight so this was probably sewn on crooked. We've sewn down the arms and then down the strap and I made my straps 30 inches long from this edge here um, so I cut off about 10 inches off of the ends of them so I figure a 30 inch strap would be just enough to tie around your body and of course my thread broke when I was going around the corner there so I'm just going to trim that out there we go so there's our two straps, and there is the apron complete. And the back, nice and clean, just like the apron. You can, um, when you redo your seam here, if you want to, you can use your pinking shears and cut along that so it won't fray, but um, it's just a quick way to make an apron out of a leg of jeans. So I hope you enjoyed the video. There you go. Some simple instructions on how to make one for yourself. Jay, I hope you can follow along. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll help you out if I can. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.